these are the real heroes of Hello on Two, ah. Yes. Uh, uh, and the orang hijau. If Malaysia we have orang minyak, I think this okay this lah. guy is uh, <laughs> orang minyak kelapa sawit. <laughs> so, okay yes, lah. Uh, orang hijau. Uh, okay uh, lah. Is back uh, okay from lah. straight off the plane. Uh, uh, back yeah. from Germany. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Welcome Matthias. Back. Thank you. Matthias still... Galber. Uh, mm-hmm. This morning with our two guests, we have mm-hmm. Dr. Nurul Muiz Murad, mm-hmm. who is the CEO of Green Earth Design Solution, mm-hmm. uh, which we'll be sharing with you, as well as Najib, who is the Consultant of Green Earth Design Solutions. Remember, hi, good morning to all of you. Morning, Thank morning. you for joining us. Good morning. 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 Uh, good morning. First off, yeah, yeah, I understand you want to share with us something. Yeah, from oh, Germany. Yeah. I'm yeah. still sleepy, you know, <laughs> jet lag, you know, and all these kind of things. But uh, it is not so big the uh, time difference, seven hours, and I kind of okay try to la. stay somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So I feel okay lah. <laughs> okay Even though la. sleep was a bit short, but you know, I was amazed in Germany. Uh, in my kampung with my mother uh-huh. in the morning she uh-huh. came and brought the bread rolls okay. and then she had this bag and i couldn't believe it uh-huh. it's a co2 neutral bag for the bread in the morning just for so the bread. I, was, I was puzzled oh. by that and mm-hmm. one thing that i always buy when i'm back in germany this is a german magazine called okay. eco test oh. ecological test magazine okay. it tests all sorts of things they have hand cream in there uh-huh. like a picture with madonna saying the hand really reveals how old you are <laughs> Uh, they test all the hand creams that are being sold in Germany according to ecological criteria. They uh-huh. give very good, good, mm, mm. or not so good, depending mm. on whether there are any toxic ingredients in mm-hmm. there, how healthy it is for you. Mm-hmm. So really, the consumer choice, us as consumer making a choice and us having the information to actually know what is eco-friendly and what is not is very, very important. Mm. And I hope in, in you know soon that in Malaysia we have this kind of information as well to empower the consumer to say, hey, this is green, this is not green. And I think that's why we've got our friends here uh, from the green building segment here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Buildings are very, very important. Yesterday, I was taking the LRT, I arrived at Bangsa LRT, and I felt the staunch smell. They were just doing some refurbishment there, mm. and I checked it out. They were using solvent-based glue there, Ooh. which is actually damaging for people, damaging for the environment. Right. Uh-huh. And it was a shop that was advertising healthy <laughs> food. Mm. So, That's you know, I was asking myself, is this a lack of knowledge or uh-uh. do, don't we connect the dots here? So green buildings and what we can do as consumers to get more healthier building, more eco-friendly mm-hmm. building, I think it's going to be critical for the environmental performance of the nation in Malaysia to achieve the Prime Minister's target of 40% carbon intensity reduction that he announced uh, in uh, Copenhagen some years ago. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think, why we really need to look at this subject. Mm-hmm. And that's why you brought with us uh, from the Green Earth Design Solutions in Rambarha, Dr. Nurmu is. Tell us more about the company and what you're actually, how your business is a green business. Okay, um, I, we start, I started the business in 2009. Okay. Before that, I was in Australia for 15 years. Mm-hmm. So coming back here, uh, giving back to the country, you know, setting up the company. So our core business currently, we are doing green building consultation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we provide solutions as well, you know, mm-hmm. for our clients. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do small scale and medium scale green constructions for, for home owners mm-hmm. and building owners. Mm-hmm. And we are also uh, a solar PV panel uh, solution provider as well. So that's our core business. Ah, that's what we do. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Najib, you're a consultant for uh, Green Earth Design Solution. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what kind of um, advice do you give your clients? I mean, like, we give what clients what they want. Mm-hmm. They want to be green. So we do. We go into the project, we tell them what to do in terms of providing, helping them to reduce energy consumption of the building for mm-hmm. start. Mm-hmm. And there's popular green building certification in the country, which is Green Building Index. Mm-hmm. So that's the, the green building assessment tool. Okay. So we help the clients to achieve that standard for their buildings. Uh, how many green buildings do we actually have here in Malaysia? Um, if you're talking about GBI, Green Building Index was formed in 2009. Mm-hmm. So I think we have about close to maybe around 20 to 30, yep. 35 yeah, projects these days. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and when your clients ask, first of all, who are your clients so far? And how do we explain to them how your products are actually green? Uh, well, most of our clients are currently major developers, mm-hmm. uh, so we work <coughs> with them. 
Um, and at the moment, we have projects uh, mostly in KL, Klang Valley, uh, Malacca, Penang, mm-hmm. and Johor. Mm-hmm. You know, so we emphasize more on uh, cost savings okay. to the client because one of the biggest myth yes, uh, in green building green. is it costs, it costs a lot more. of money. Mm-hmm. But we try our best to uh, demystify <laughs> that, mm-hmm. you know, uh, by working with our clients and developers during early stage of design. Mm-hmm. So so far we are quite successful successful in it. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we've managed to um, get involved in a few projects in which the development cost often in green is not as much as what people would would think. Mm. Yep. So that's one of our main contributors to the to the product. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For example, the uh, Bangsar Health Shop that uh, Matthias <laughs> mentioned just now. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? What should have been done? Well. Um, The, the the problem with this industry at the moment mm-hmm. is that uh, there's no certain uh, benchmark or standards mm-hmm. for green building consultants. Mm-hmm. So therefore, there's a lot of consultants going around uh, preaching green, but in actual fact that you know mm-hmm. um, the advice that's been given varies. You know, so it's very important to um, select you know a, a correct uh, you know consultant uh, to work for for you in mm-hmm. any green building project so that. Um, in terms of advice, you know, given, you know, it's 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 more holistic, you know, overall rather than focusing on one or two um, areas within the green building. So, um, my guess is, you know, in such uh, projects, you know, uh, things goes wrong when you know the the advice given it's not overall, it's not holistic, but it focuses only one or two. Let's say, for example, energy or water instead of indoor environment quality materials and things like that. Yeah. I think one other issue is as well, there's often a disconnect between the company that actually runs a place yeah. or owns the building mm-hmm. and the contractor. You know, mm. nobody really mm. feeds through to a contractor or controls the contractor. <laughs> Then a contractor comes in, uh-huh. you know, lays a new carpet uh-huh. or refurbishes. And you find that very often in shopping malls. You go across a, a shop that is being refurbished and you have all of this smell of the solvents, the formaldehyde exactly. stuff coming in. Yep. And that was exactly what happened there. I even mm. took a picture of the glue that they were using <laughs> with a solvent in there. Uh-huh. And it actually says, oh, you have to make sure that the place is well ventilated. Mm-hmm. That already gives you an indication there is toxic stuff in there that's going to destroy people's health. And we are using that widely in Malaysia, <coughs> even in places that are selling mm. healthy products. Mm-hmm. I mean, what a conflict is that in mm-hmm. terms of we are trying in, in, in the one way to improve our health in another way, mm. we're, we're damaging it. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and the worst part is this, mm. that shop owner can actually say, Catch me if you can! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to stop him from that's doing right. it, right? That's right. That's so, everybody you know, is doing it. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's no um, law against it. Mm. There's nothing we can do against it. So exactly. um, perhaps, uh, what can we do? Uh, apart from the struggle of our green man, uh, <laughs> bringing out awareness to Malaysians and contractors out there. <laughs> How is that going to happen? Well, um, here we are, you know, uh, from 2009 up until now, um, we're, we're, we're prospering as a company. Mm-hmm. And we're here not just to um, as, 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 a, as a business entity, mm-hmm. but our function here is to give back to the country, to educate uh, the public, you know, through our work, you know. Uh, because of the fact we are 100% Malaysian, you know, so we are very passionate in the things that we do. Mm. We're involved in the project from start to finish, mm. you know, so we're on the ground with the contractors, with everyone to make sure that, you know, on design is as what it's supposed to be, and in practice, uh, you know, it applies to that as well. You know? yep. Okay, yep. Najib, we're still staying on the challenging aspect of running a green business. Mm. With joining uh, Dr. Nurul Muiz, what yeah. has been your biggest challenge so far, especially in uh, the mindset of people? Has mm. it been a challenge to have people accept this new way? Uh, it's starting to change. I okay. mean, if you've been here in this industry for so long, I mean, five years ago, talking about green is almost impossible. Uh-huh. But these days, people, talk, people start listening. It's getting easier that we understand that people start listening and start accepting your advice. Mm-hmm. So people start opening with, uh, you know, getting so- installing solar panels in their houses, rainwater housing system. You know, people start opening, looking to long term. Green concept is always, always about long term. Mm-hmm. You put more in in capital investment, but in the long run you save more, and mm-hmm. people start to look into that more. So that's key. 
So, yeah, I mean, that's a key part. I think one critical thing for all of our viewers is that they actually start asking for those green features when they buy a new home, mm -hmm. or even if they look at creating their own home. Let's do it for the sake of your future generations and for your own pocket money as well. Right, yeah. Because if you have an eco-efficient home, uh, that will <laughs> save you money in operational terms. <coughs> and isn't it a good thing if your children could sleep in a healthy room rather than your children breathing in toxic mm. chemicals when they are in their own bedroom or mm. they having they needing blasting aircon all the time. <laughs> so I think, you know, that is very, very relevant because I went to a showroom the other day okay. and I asked the guys there, so what's green about their building? They said, nothing, consumers are not asking for it, there's no demand. I think we have, on the commercial level, we have a lot of businesses asking for it, but on the residential level, so, so what should actually our viewers ask for, look for when they buy a new home? Um, one thing for sure, you know, um, I think uh, they have to make sure that, you know, if uh, they're buying a green home, for example, you know, it has to be designed properly in terms of the green features, you mm -hmm. know. So some developers, they do provide um, consumers with a, with, a, with a checklist or a list, you know, of what they should look for. But uh, one thing's for sure, you know, uh, make sure that the, the building is properly insulated, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We can't stress that enough, yeah, you know. Yeah. So that naturally, passively, you know, the house is, is, is cool oh, enough. Yeah. You don't use too much air conditioning and, yeah. you know, it saves a lot in energy. We are now embarking <clears throat> in a few projects in which we are designing uh, with developers on low cost and medium cost housing mm. Mm. for for green because overseas you know that's where most green projects are are at mm. you know um, public housing and things like that because you know on a long run maintenance wise it will not be as high mm. you know in terms of operation electricity bills and things like that it will be very very low so <coughs> you know it's not just about uh, high end housing mm. but the mm. challenge and the key here is for for low and medium cost housing as well. It's even more important for that because, you know, people with a low budget can't afford a high electricity bill. Mm. Exactly. But often we have the opposite happening here in Malaysia. I've seen a lot of low cost houses. They are hot like sweatshops. Mm. You know, people <laughs> don't like to stay inside because it's so hot. So this is very critical for exactly. quality of life and for the environment at the same time. That's right. I like yeah. that point. Yeah. 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 All right, uh, we were showing some slides on GEDs earlier on, maybe you can uh, a few stuffs about that. Okay. Okay. Which uh, Yeah, especially how... Key study, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your projects that mm -hmm. you've been doing. Okay. Uh, we are currently... Uh, one of one of the uh, the big projects that we're doing now is solar PV installation okay. in Malacca for existing houses. Mm -hmm. So it's 400 houses um, in Alugaja and it's on existing um, terrace and semi-D houses. Mm -hmm. So we've, uh, we've started uh, on that project and we're looking uh, to finish up the project either within end of this year or early next year, you know. So um, through that project, for example, uh, because we are leasing the rooftops, you know, of the existing housing, we are looking to give free uh, electricity uh, to, to, the, to the homeowners through monthly vouchers and things like that. Yes, so that's what we're doing at the moment. <coughs> One of the big projects. So uh, these uh, PV panels, mm -hmm. right, uh, solar panels, yep. they actually uh, power just the uh, water heater aspect or pretty much the, uh, whole, the, whole, uh, house. the whole house? The whole house. Ah. Yep, yep. So, the, so, so you, 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 you don't get confused with uh, solar water heater and uh -huh. solar PVs because solar water heater is purely on hot water. Correct. Okay. Solar PVs is producing electricity. Uh, yeah. to, to, to the household or to the building. So, uh, I'm going green as well. Let's talk about green as in money. <laughs> <coughs> Is it really, you know... Um, cost uh, efficient. Cost efficient. <laughs> in terms of uh, startup and uh, ROI? Um, it depends on the building. If it's mm -hmm. new development, uh, you're looking at probably uh, for, for a medium to uh, large scale building are uh, about one or two years ROI. Ooh. If it's an existing building, it's about four years because there's a lot of things that you have to retrofit inside. Oh, uh, right. But we normally go uh, for, for example, existing residential houses, we follow the budget of the house owner. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, he has a budget of certain Ringgit Malaysia. So, so we'll make sure that we provide a few green options for them so that they get maximum 
uh, greenness, mm. you know, mm. out of uh, you know their renovation or, mm. or you know uh, retrofitting uh, projects. So that's so what we do. There are even tax incentives by the government that's if right. you go for the green building index certification, mm. you can get some of your money back if you had to spend additional money for certain green features. So mm. the, uh, Malaysia is actually in a quite good position. Yeah. Yeah. The, the fact Direction. that the government is providing extra support there. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 The government yeah. wants TNB to go bust. <laughs> <laughs> We have tax incentives. We have uh, we have soft loans provided mm -hmm. by the government mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, you know uh, if you want to go green, you know, um, out of pocket expenses, you know, it doesn't have to be that case because we can help our clients, you know, in terms of financing and things like that. You know? And free solar PV? Did I get that? <laughs> right? like, yeah, I heard that as well. I heard that as well. Yeah. Free solar. I want to know more about that. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, yes. Cool. All right. Uh, now, uh, you guys are having some talk sometime this week, right? Uh, I, I'm giving a talk mm -hmm. end of this mm -hmm. week, Saturday, mm -hmm. at uh, mm -hmm. Green City College. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are a great example of green jobs, green economy. Mm -hmm. uh, I get asked a lot by young Malaysians who have their parents maybe doubtful that they can earn money and get a good job with mm -hmm. their green belief. Mm -hmm. Where are the green jobs? So I'm going to give a talk on Saturday, a public one, oh. on you know the green economy, the green businesses, the green future, mm -hmm. and what are the green jobs out there? Because mm -hmm. I want to inspire young Malaysians to go for green as part of their passion. My dad in my kampung didn't believe I could earn a decent uh, <laughs> dollar or ringgit or Deutschmark <laughs> with going green. But I think I've shown it. You guys are showing I'm it. I'm living proof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Green is the future. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a real green consultant, Malaysian yeah, green, green consultant. consultant. Yeah. Even a Malaysian that came back to help the country <coughs> after he learned the skills overseas. Mm -hmm. I think that is what this is all about. We need to work together. This, this is a... Uh, a rising industry. There will be loads more jobs. Actually, I read now about 2% of Malaysian jobs are linked to green technology. In 2020, mm. they expect 6 to 8%. So this is the industry of the future, and that's what my talk is going to be about. Cool. Mm -mm. That's good, cool, right? Uh, right? Career in a green technology. And the talk mm -hmm. is free. Yes, <laughs> free. Uh, free. Okay, smart. the talk You're is free. You're invited as well. Thank you. <laughs> and if you want to find out more about green uh, earth design solutions, it's geds.com.my. That's right. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this week and sharing with us about green earth design solutions. Thank Najib Dr. Thank you. Thank and you. Matthias, nice. we can't wait to see you again next week sure. with more. Looking forward to it. Well, what's going to be up next week? Uh, let's see, maybe some more about German stuff. I have some <laughs> German sweets with me as well. Oh, you know. Oh, that one we'll keep for next time. Here are some German sweets. Uh, the big pack for the lady. Okay. Hey. 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 Thank you, right. Haribo. That's for you. Thank you, you Haribo. Thank you. So, uh, Does it have a you. meaning? Uh, no, Haribo. This is just uh, this is just the brand. A, but, a tiger uh, in Germany. Yeah, this Haribo. is the, the Haribo stuff. Fantasia. <laughs> okay. No, we'll be talking about more actual practical lifestyle stuff on okay. Monday. Thank you, Santa Claus. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, next week the Green Man will be back with more. Unfortunately, that's all the that's time right. we have for this segment this week. Mm -mm. We are moving on after this. So we're taking a short break. Uh -uh. We'll be back. That's right. Go green.